Uh, so we've got, uh, two and a half hours. Yeah. Um, well, we did invite the class. Oh. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Sorry. We, but we, we put posters up everywhere. And we even got advertised in the paper. Oh my god. And, I know, they put yeah. Saturday the 1st. Instead of Saturday the 2nd. But I don't think. Anyway. Um, I put it on Freshers. We invited everyone in the cafe. No. <laughs> camera trouble. Press record. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> we fixed we the it. camera. Yes, yeah. boys. within the field of the body and within the field of the mind over and over again allowing things to be as they already are and feeling as well the whole of your face allowing it to be at rest as it is sensing perhaps the breath moving in and out past the gateways of the nostrils the sensations in the chin and the jaw and what you are drinking in through the eyes if they are open the eyelids, the eyebrows, and the space between the eyebrows, the forehead, the temples, the entirety of the scalp and cranium. Without having to do anything at all, just being present with what is unfolding, continually coming back to the toes themselves. And as we lie here attending to the toes of the left foot, seeing if you can feel or imagine the breath entering your lungs and then passing all the way down the body, through the left leg and into the toes of the left foot in one in-breath. And seeing if you can feel or imagine the breath coming all the way back up from the toes and through the foot and the leg and the torso and out through the nose on the out-breath. And now, when you're ready, taking a slow, deep, more intentional breath in, right down into the toes.
Um, oh, stop, stop, Mindy, stop. <laughs> do some interviews and everyone else can do some activities. Yeah. If it, I'll try and figure out how to get this. Yeah, we can shut this video five out. Yeah. Cool. Okay, um, have you done like mindfulness or well, meditation before? Not that kind of meditation, no. Yeah, I have like a few times like in the past, but it's never been like that long. I downloaded an app on my phone um, and I did like 20 minutes every morning for a while, for like a week or so, but it was just something that I didn't keep up with. So yeah, I've done like a little bit of guided meditation, but not as long as that. I've never done it by myself. I've always had guided like sessions in sit for Wednesday mornings. We'd do like a two minute guided meditation period, which it was all right, but it didn't really do much. How did you find the experience? I found the experience really relaxing. I thought I could like go on for hours, really. Like at a point where I was like almost asleep. It was calming, yeah. I felt like I was really aware. I could feel like everything in my body. I could feel like little twitches and stuff going on. Not something I'd experienced before. Um, afterwards I was like, I was in like this state of zen, like I was very, I was very like, not enlightened but I was calm, I was aware and I was just very relaxed at that point. I understood the kind of, I got the expected feeling I think, I felt the, uh, I felt where it said to feel. Do you, do you think it will help a lot with stress and stuff like that? <sighs> Oh yeah, definitely. I think if you can like find the right environment, I can't see why I wouldn't. It forces you to focus on like the now rather than other stuff that's like building up in your mind. It's worth a try. If it makes me feel better, it makes me feel better. So if I feel like I need to try it again in time of stress, I'll try it. I think it would be really useful for people in general to stop every day for a little bit of time and like focus on what's going on. The first thing I do when I wake up is think about like uh, everything that I've got to do for the day or the weekend or my deadline, etc. So, yeah. People need to try these things more, but they never think to because they uh, are too stressed to even try. <laughs> what makes you happy in, in general? Um, ooh. In life. If she ain't bad. My dog. I really like animals. It makes me very happy. Uh. Sleeping and my friends. Like watching a period drama with a cock of tea, like snuggled up in a blanket on a sofa. Good films, good areas, good music, anything in the arts I enjoy. Uh, what's wrong with this? I think I've done it wrong. I've definitely done it wrong. I'm gonna mess it up. Okay, how many have I done? I've done two. This is so cheesy at the end. <laughs> yeah, how didn't... was this, guys? Uh, it was stressful. nice. Oh, it was nice. Overall, this has been the most stressful experience <laughs> of my life. Despite, well, yeah, despite it's quite the ironic, yeah. really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're really. Yeah, filming. I found filming the mindful experience very mm. relaxing. Yeah. yeah, it was so weird. I think the experience itself was very. Was it was great. It was weird like, to see everyone yeah. just like zen out. Especially afterwards, like my whole body felt like. Yeah, so relaxed. calm, just like so like, focused on filming. Good hug, we did it everyone. Okay, yay. Oh, this should this should just be on our blogs. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! At the end, it's just gonna be a snapshot, and it's just gonna like. <laughs> <laughs>